Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. It is the end of 2018 and it has been a stellar year for my channel. And I wanted to continue with the tradition that I started last year of just choosing a Whiskey of the Year. Now, I have one rule and it had to be a Whiskey that I reviewed formally during the course of the year. No live streams, no thing that I tasted uh, you know, from a sample or whatever. It had to be a formal review. And of those 54 whiskeys that I covered, I was able to narrow it down. I did pick a winner, but I've got a few honorable mentions. So I kind of want to do like a top five, you know, nothing formal, but I will say that like, I'm going to go from kind of five, four, three, two, one, right? So let's start off with Elmer T. Lee. Now, Elmer T. Lee is a bottle that I regret keeping in my cabinet as long as I did. This is amazing. And unfortunately, it is unattainable. People can't get their hands on this stuff. And I gave it a rating of stock it. And that caused a lot of frustrated comments, unfortunately. But oh well. Um, you know, luckily, uh, luckily I was able to get my hands on it and... Hmm. The sweet taste of privilege. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. I, I know I'm a jerk. Okay. Elmer T. Lee, number five. Number four, Booker's 201803 specifically. This was a standout whiskey, even among Booker's, which I obviously love. And there's a complexity with this that you just don't get in most Booker's and just Sipping this literally puts a smile on my face. I love this whiskey. That would be another honorable mention for me. Next, this one's a little bit different, but bear with me. So, any whiskey from the Crowded Barrel Distillery. Now, I shouldn't really have to explain this, but I think it is incredibly impressive what Daniel and Rex were able to do by crowdsourcing a distillery, coming up with a product, bringing it to market, and having it not suck. So good for you guys. Thank you for producing a whiskey that doesn't suck. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think Eleanor is worth mentioning. It's it's great. It really is. This one's the, the 1860, and that was my favorite of all of them. I believe they just put out in 1866, actually. So if you are part of that whole thing and you have access to it, then you should go pick it up. Next, I do not have the bottle anymore for this one, but I would like to say my, my top honorable mention is the Old Pulteney 1983. Now, this was a bottle from a fan, and it was that already kind of like makes it special for me. And this was a bottle. It was a very expensive bottle. But because of that, it was a bottle I went through very slowly. But more to the point, it is the bottle that I shared with everyone. <laughs> Anyone who came to my house, not even kidding, literally a contractor to the house. I was like, are you a whiskey guy? And he was like, yeah, I guess so. And I'm like, what, what do you drink? And he mentioned a couple of things that were not like just Jack Daniels. And I was like, okay, I've got a thing. I want to just give it to you. But like, I shared this with everybody and I'm, I'm going to quote Aqua Vitae. It's not whiskey till it's shared. It's this was the whiskey that I shared and it was awesome to be able to share their experience. So Thank you, Eric. I appreciate the bottle. Um, and for me, it just, I mean, obviously it was delicious. I'm not <laughs> gonna just skip over that, but it was worth every penny in my mind. Just glad I didn't have to buy it myself. <laughs> All right, here's the, the final. Those of you that have watched the channel for a while probably know where I'm going with this, but the Glen Morangi Signet. So this bottle and thus the whiskey inside of it is a work of art in my mind. I loved everything about this whiskey. It's empty and I saved the bottle for this review or for this video and I'm sad that it's empty because I, I probably won't end up buying another bottle. Um, not because I don't want to, but just because I have so much other whiskey to go through. But anybody out there who, it's $200. I mean, this is an expensive whiskey, but it is worth it in my mind. And I loved this whiskey. So anyway, this Glenmorangie Signet gets my vote for whiskey of the year. And thank you everybody who's helped make this year awesome for me. Um, look for a video in a uh, cup, actually, I guess probably tomorrow, um, either way, the January 1st. Um, on kind of my achievements and goals for, it's kind of like a recap video that I do. So that'll be coming out in a day or two or whatever. And, and I'll be talking a little bit more about the channel, but for this year, Glen Morangie Signet is my whiskey of the year. I uh, had an awesome 2018. I hope you did as well. I hope you guys tried some awesome stuff. I would love to hear what your two things. Number one, 
And what was your favorite whiskey that you've had that I did a review of this year? And I'll put the full list of whiskeys just so you don't have to bother looking them up in the description below. But more importantly, what was your favorite whiskey that you had this year? Because that'll give me some ideas of things to tackle in 2019. So thank you everybody for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary in 2018. And I look forward to an awesome 2019. Cheers.